settling down somewhere now where you can rest for a while and you won't be disturbed. Perhaps sitting on the sofa or lying down, whatever works for you. And you might have visited stately homes and we have a lot of those in the UK. And lots of them have large, wonderful gardens, many plants and flowers. Sometimes they're exotic specimens that have been collected from all around the world. And these gardens often have walls in them. Walls that perhaps as the public we don't get to go beyond. And you may have wondered as you wandered around a garden what was behind that wall. And you can get a sense now of Perhaps being in a garden that you've visited before or perhaps a garden that you've always wanted to visit. Just getting a sense of that garden, perhaps shapes or colours, the scent of the plants and the flowers. Perhaps getting a sense of what kind of day a crisp winter day or a cool spring morning or or a warm summer afternoon even. As you wander along the garden you can take in the sights and the sounds perhaps of bird life or perhaps the sound of mowers mowing the grass even the sound of children laughing as they play in the garden. And somewhere, as you wander down the path, you'll find, you'll find a wall. And beyond that wall, you can be curious what you'll find. And as you walk along the wall now, Perhaps it's covered in brambles or vines. Somewhere along that wall, maybe to your left or your right, I don't know. You can find a door. Perhaps it's a, an iron door or gate. Maybe with quite impressive curly iron work or it could be more of a simple door a wooden shed door or maybe a small door, the kind of door that you'd have to duck to go through. And when you find that door, I don't know if it will have a handle or perhaps it has a keyhole. As you look at that door now, you can perhaps get a sense of putting your hand on the handle or if it's a door or a gate that needs a key. You can look around now and find the key perhaps under a rock or maybe even surprisingly in your pocket. And the door might require a, a bit of a shove or the key might be a bit stiff. Because it's the kind of door that may not have been opened for a long time. A secret kind of door that people have forgotten about over time. Until you rediscovered it. And you can open that door now, perhaps giving it a bit of a shove if it needs it, or wiggling that key in the lock. And stepping over the threshold now into that garden. And there are all different kinds of gardens. Which 
Japanese gardens are very ordered. They employ the principles of Zen. They often involve areas of fine pebbles that are combed into shapes, patterns. And in the springtime, they have wonderful trees covered in cherry blossom. Many golden palaces in Japan have these wonderful manicured gardens. There's a kind of a symmetry and a perfection to them. You can just begin to wander now and notice what you notice there. You know, some gardens are more on the wild side. Like a free growing meadow, perhaps with poppies and other wild flowers growing free. A perfect kind of place for wildlife. Rabbits and hedgehogs, perhaps foxes and badgers. Large, old, gnarly trees. Their branches spiralling and twisting into the air. Providing the perfect haven for squirrels and birds and insects. Trees that have been here before, before we were born or even conceived, that have seen many things and lived through many things and will still be there long after we're gone. Their strong roots burrowing down into the earth. filling them with nutrients from the soil. And you know what it's like to walk, walk by the trees in the summer, hear birds singing. You know there are certain times of day when you get shafts of light Coming down between the green leaves. And some gardens are rooted in the time that they were first planted. Kept that way by dedicated gardeners. Typical English gardens, perhaps, with wonderful variety of roses all their wonderful variety of colours and names and perfumes. And in warmer places gardens tend to be more tropical, plants more exotic. more butterflies and different kinds of insects and birds. And you can continue to wander through the garden, maybe even coming across a comfortable looking bench or seat. You might like to sit there for a while or Continue to walk and explore. And some gardens contain ponds, perhaps with 
goldfish or carp. When you watch them swim, you can see their different colours and patterns. And the bubbles they make as they come to the surface. You know when a pebble drops into a pond, it causes ripples, and ripples distort any reflections in the surroundings. When the ripples fade, the surface of the water becomes smooth again. Just like a mirror, perfectly reflecting the trees or the sky. Sometimes it's nice to nice to find a patch of perhaps freshly mown grass and just lie down for a while, taking in the smells of the grass, listening to the birds and maybe the bees, noticing butterflies flutter by. And just being in nature is just so good for us. The vitamin D that we get from the sun. And that sense of connection to all the life around us. It's easy to spend an afternoon in a garden just watching or maybe even reading a book. That's it. And of course there are different sights and sounds in gardens at different times of year. In the winter, many of the trees may be stripped of their leaves, which means we can see the birds more clearly. And in the autumn, maybe lots of brown, golden amber leaves on the ground, crunching beneath our feet as we walk. And in the springtime there's blossom and new life everywhere, new buds and baby birds and hedgehogs, ladybirds, butterflies and bees emerging. And in the summertime, it's so warm and full of life. You might have a favourite time of year that you like. Gardens can have lots of features, perhaps streams, sculptures, 
maybe a vegetable patch to sow seeds and watch the vegetables grow. You can really make the garden your own. You can have a waterfall if you'd like, or a particular kind of tree, maybe an apple tree or a conifer. You can arrange the garden to your own design, or you can just be curious to leave it and See how it grows and develops on its own. It's becoming more pleasing each time you visit. And even when it is winter and some of the plants can't be seen, perhaps no flowers, they're just there, just beneath the surface, just waiting, waiting for the conditions to be right to spring up again. Smelling the aromas now. Being aware, perhaps, of breeze on your skin or the sunlight on your face. Perhaps hearing the rustle of the wind through the grass or the sounds of birdsong. Just breathing in. And breathing out, almost as if you could breathe in the health and nutrition and light of this place, letting it fill you with energy and soothe you. the top of your head to the tips of your toes, breathing in the freshness, and when you're ready, you can take the path towards the door in the wall. Perhaps taking a different route back or returning the same way. Back through that door, out of the secret garden and into the main garden. Noticing the differences here. Maybe the plants are different or the types of birds are different. Even the temperature could be different. And with every step now, just coming back to the place where you are, noticing what you're resting on, becoming aware of the shapes and colours where you are, if you're indoors perhaps, Hearing sounds within the house or sounds outside. Taking a few deep breaths and coming all the way back now, refreshed and ready to continue with your day.